praise the Lord, saints of the Most High God. It is time to praise the Lord with Evangelist Anita Hewitt. We welcome you in Jesus' name. Glory to God. It is truly a blessing that you tuned into the Hewitt channel. Our ministry is MCN Ministry Bible Way LA. We're located in Los Angeles, California. And if you need more information, please visit our website at www.bryanhewitt.com. It is truly a blessing. If you want to see it into this ministry, for truly we're going to the four winds of the earth, wherever the Lord is sending us, we are going. The word of God says, who will go for me, send me, and I will go. And we're going to the four winds of the earth. We're planning to go to the UK. We're planning to go to India. And if the Lord says the same, Pakistan, and also back to Kenya. And it's truly a blessing. So if you want to see it into this ministry, visit our website. And also, we have an online store, and we also have a prayer request. So if you have any prayers you want us to pray for, please fill out the information. And truly, we stand on the word of God, the effectual firm and prayer of the righteous man availeth much. So let's go before the throne. Most gracious Father, we come before you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. First of all, Father God, forgive us for all of our sins. Strengthen us where we're weak. Father God, we thank you and praise you that this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for you keeping us all day long. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep our heart and mind through Christ Jesus. I decree joy, for truly the joy of the Lord is our strength today. And Father God, we are strong today. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for every blessing you have for us this day. Please, once again, Lord Jesus, we said, if Lord, you said, if we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and father God we thank you for every blessing in the name of Jesus father God we thank you for peace in the midst of the storm father God Lord Jesus we love you father God Lord Jesus we thank you that all storm really does come to pass and father God will be careful to give you all the praise all the glory now father God let your servant evangelist Anita Hewitt decrease and let you increase in me use me to your glory father God and Lord I'll be careful to give you all the praise all the glory for there is none like you we claim for souls to be one rededication. We thank you that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that we are strengthened today because thy word is marrow to our bones. And because of that, we're standing strong today. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you for every blessing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, saints of the Most High God. Hallelujah. The Lord has given me a title, the midst, Peace in the Midst of the Storm. My God, we need to say peace, be still in the midst of our storms. Glory to God, because as we walk this Christian walk, we're going to go through trials and tribulations, and we must say peace, be still. Turn with me to Psalms 29. Psalms 29. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar. Yea, the Lord breaks the cedar of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like like the calf, Lebanon and, and Sharon are like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divideth the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadash. The voice of the Lord naketh the hinds to calf and, the, and, and discover the forest. And in his temple do every one speak of his glory the Lord sitteth upon the floods yea the Lord sitteth kings forever the Lord will give strength unto his people the Lord will bless his people with peace may the Lord have the blessing to the reading and to the hearing of God's matchless powerful word of God amen Peace be still. Peace be still in the midst of your storms. Every storms of life that we go through, 
God gives us peace. Every storm really does come to pass, but it all depends on how you how you handle the storm depends on how long of a storm you're going to be in. There's are there are so many different storms and it seems like I just got out of a storm but God there's another one God I just got out Lord I'm in I'm in the storm but just like Jesus calm the wind and the waves peace be still in the name of Jesus hallelujah we need to say peace be still God calms the storms of life in our lives long as we stay connected to the father long as we continue on looking on to the Arthur and finisher of our faith we could truly say peace be still God wants us to trust him in all things hallelujah give unto the Lord O ye mighty give unto the Lord glory and strength we're praising God for everything that God has done in our lives we giving him the praise and glory because he's worthy the joy of the Lord is our strength give unto the Lord glory due to his name worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness holiness is not a religion holiness is a way of life hallelujah so we're giving God the glory because he's worthy due to his name why because he's the king of kings and he's the lord of lords he is our Adonai Adonai means that the lord is our master the master's job is to take care of the servant and we are the servant so the servant doesn't have to want for nothing because the master supplies every need glory to God the only thing the servant has to do is be obedient to the master and to Today we are obedient to the Lord, so the Lord is our Adonai. Glory to God. I am so thankful, Lord, that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are my rock and my strength. You are my refuge. Hallelujah. You are my high tower. And because you are my high tower, I find safety in the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God, because I have made the Lord, hallelujah, thy inhabitation, that there's no evil shall come nigh of my dwelling. Hallelujah, that there's no evil coming nigh of your dwelling, because you made the Lord, hallelujah, the most high God, the El Elyon. Glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God. He is our high tower, so we're giving him the glory and honor due to his name. We we worship him in the beauty of holiness hallelujah it is a way of life glory to God I thank God that I don't do the things I used to do because Jesus is in us why because the greater one is in us greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world glory to God the voice of the Lord is upon the waters the God is great thunder. Hallelujah. The Lord is upon the many waters. Glory to God. Everything that God says, it rumbles. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When God says, peace be still. Hallelujah. Because he made the elements. Hallelujah. He made the water. He made everything upon this earth. So it must be obedient unto God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And isn't it amazing? The word of God says, is greater is he greater work shall we do glory to God so you have the greater one that lives within you so you can say peace be still to the many waters of your life glory to God hallelujah when the enemy comes up like a flood God will raise up a wall of a, a standard of holiness glory to God don't you know hallelujah God will not allow the enemy to only go so far because, hallelujah, we are children of God. Hallelujah. So whenever we go through the trials of life, whatever you're facing, my brother, my sister, mother and father of the church, senior citizens, young people, children, I want you to know you have the power of the Holy Ghost that lives and breathes and dwells in you because greater is he that's in you than he is in the world. 
So we have the greater one. And because we have the greater one, we can look at whatever storms of life say, peace be still in the name of Jesus. Not in Anita's name, but in the name of Jesus. Demon trembles. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That there is no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. God never said that the weapons won't form, but the promise is that it will not prosper. Saints of the Most High God, I want you to understand, you can say peace be still to every storms of life that you go through. Glory to God. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunder. The Lord is upon the many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Glory to God. Honor and majesty is due unto his name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord is powerful. God's word is alive, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Glory to God. So when we study his word, when we speak, when we preach his word, when we quote his word, when we meditate on the word day and night, glory to God. God's word is powerful. Hallelujah. God says, ask anything in my name. I will do it. Hallelujah. And the reason why we ask a myth is because we don't know the word and we're not praying the word but when we pray the word of God hallelujah we come in partnership with the powerful alive matchless word of God and it will come to pass so it's so important hallelujah for for us to pray the word of God the voice of the Lord is powerful the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. Glory to God. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedar. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedar of Lebanon. Glory to God. Lebanon cedar was one of the strongest woods, but the voice of the Lord breaks that. My God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He makes them also to skip like calves. Lebanon and Shadron is like a young unicorn. Glory to God. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter what comes your life, whatever fiery trials that you're facing, hallelujah, you'll use that shield of faith that will be able to quench every fiery darts of the wicked one. Glory to God, hallelujah, because it's so important that we must put on the whole armor of God because, glory to God, as we study, hallelujah, I put on the whole armor of God. My loins are girded about with truth, breastplate of righteousness. My feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I have the helmet of salvation. I have the shield of faith that will be able to quench every fiery darts. I have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And now that you rooted, booted, suited, and booted, ready for battle, glory to God. And the word of God says, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So God has our back as we're covered up under the armor of God. And know that there is no weapon that's formed against us. Just like we put on clothes before we go outside we don't go outside naked so therefore we must put on our armor always every day hallelujah because we're in a battle hallelujah the battle is not flesh and blood but it's a spiritual battle and we must be armed we must be suited and booted ready for battle hallelujah know that the battle is not ours but it's the Lord's but whenever you walk out without your armor it's just like you walking outside naked you are a walking target and the enemy comes to attack but when you have your shield of faith when the fiery darts want to come your way you can use your shield of faith that will block every fiery darts you can use the sword of the spirit which is the word of God God's word is sharper than two-edged sword hallelujah it peers on down to the marrow hallelujah glory to God because God's word is alive and powerful Hallelujah. I have the helmet of salvation because I can't listen to everything. I can't let everything get in my spirit. So hallelujah, as I have the helmet of salvation, my mind is stayed on thee that he'll keep in perfect peace. Glory to God because glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise God because hallelujah, he will give us peace in the midst of the storms. Glory to God. Peace be still. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Got caught up in, God got caught up. I'm not apologizing. I'm going by the leading of the Holy Ghost. But glory to God. Hallelujah. Talking about the armor of God. Hallelujah. Where that we use our shield of faith that will quench every fiery darts. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord, the voice of the Lord maketh the hind to, to calf. Hallelujah. And discover the forest and in his temple do everyone speak of his glory are you magnifying god today are you giving him the praise and glory because he is so worthy he is so worthy to be praised saints of god if you don't know the lord as your personal savior now is the acceptable time to get it right we must be we must be uh uh we must be rapture ready glory to god because we don't know the day nor the hour when the son of man is coming and because of that we must be ready. Hallelujah. If God calls you home right now, can you honestly say heaven is your home? Can you honestly say glory to God? I will be, I will be in God's dwelling. I have a temple. I have my mansion set up for me already. If you cannot say that, please turn with me to Romans 10. We're going to start at verse 9 through 13. Hallelujah. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thine heart, God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Aren't you glad you tuned into the Hewitt channel? Glory to God. That's my husband praising God. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad you tuned into the Hewitt channel where we can say peace be still in every storms of life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because God is with you. You're never alone. God said I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Please repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I'm willing right now to turn my sins and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life. Hallelujah. To come in and fill me and take control. Hallelujah. Make me to be the person that you birthed me to become. Thank you, Father, for loving me in Jesus' name. If you said that simple prayer, all heaven is rejoicing. Pastor Brian and myself, we're praising God for you. Welcome to the body of Christ. You're taking the most important step. Now you ask God to lead and guide you to a Bible teaching church where God wants you to grow and also get active in the midweek Bible study. For where there's unity, there is strength. And if you gave your life to the Lord, please visit our website at www.brianhewitt.com and let us know that you gave your life to the Lord. And if you need a Bible, please let us know that too. We will make sure that that we will send you a Bible. And also, if you have a prayer request, please click on the prayer request. And also, we have an online store that has all of our messages. So please click on that and, and be blessed, and you will be blessed hearing the word of God. Glory to God. Once again, welcome to the body of Christ. Let's go back to peace be still. So we're talking about peace be still, hallelujah, for every storms of life that you're going through. The Lord is with you. Sometimes we're in this storm to the, gets to the point where, God, are you there? Do God, do you hear me? Do you see what I'm going through, God? Hallelujah, and God is there. God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. God is with us through everything, hallelujah. So therefore, we must have the strength to say peace be still god says if you if you ask anything in my name i will do it behold i give you power so we have power saints of the most high god we have the power of christ jesus we have the holy ghost that dwells within us and because we could do greater works we could say whatever storms of life that we're going through peace be still hallelujah i ask god hallelujah to do a spiritual circumcision 
because sometimes when the storms of life come, my heart is heartened. Oh my God, and God, I need for you to create in me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. God, I need for you to renew my spirit. Hallelujah, because the storms of life had made my heart heartened. Hallelujah, but God, I want to have a heart of flesh. So I ask you to recreate a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Hallelujah, so we're talking today about peace be still. Hallelujah, God will give you the peace of God which passes all understanding. Hallelujah, it will blow your natural mind when you're in the midst of the storm. You can rest and trust God. Why? Because my hope is in Christ Jesus. My hope is not in people, places, or things, but my hope is in Christ Jesus. And because my hope is in Christ Jesus, I can rest assured and know that God is with me. Know that God has his angels encamped around about me, protecting me from seen and unseen days. Danger. So we're giving God the praise and glory. Give unto the Lord, O ye, ye mighty. Hallelujah. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Glory to God, O ye mighty. God is mighty and full of power. Glory to God. We're giving him the praise and glory due to his name. We're worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. God is gr glory, glory thunder. Hallelujah, God, the God of glory thundereth. Hallelujah, the Lord is upon the many waters. So because God is with us, we can look at whatever storms, whatever typhoon, typhoon that you're in. God said, even if the water comes, hallelujah, it shall not come your dwelling. No, no evil shall come your dwelling because you made the Lord the most high God, your refuge, hallelujah. And because Jesus is our refuge, we can rest in the midst of the storms. So saints of the most high God, the word of God today is peace be still. You speak peace to every storms of life that you're going through. Every storm really does come to pass as I praise God through this storm. What evangelist you telling me I gotta praise God even in the midst of the storm I'm praising God because my hope is in Christ Jesus I'm praising God because God is in control I praise God because God said he'll never leave me nor forsake me and so because of that I know every storm that I'm in or every storm I'm about to go through God will bring us through with a mighty strong hand because God is merciful God is mighty. Glory to God. God is powerful. God knows what all we could go through. God knows what we're going to go through. But God has already said that we are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. God causes us to triumph always everywhere we go. Glory to God. And because of that, I'm standing on God's word. Because of that, I know who I am in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm a child of of the most high God. Hallelujah. Because my daddy, our father, Jesus, hallelujah, we could come boldly before the throne of grace. And once again, God said, I'm with you even until the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. So because of that, we can rest assured in whatever storms of life that you're going through. It may look like a flood. You look like the wave is about to overtake you. Hallelujah. But God has seen us through every storms of life. God brought you through this. He's going to bring you through that. You must understand. God has never lost a case. God has been faithful. Hallelujah. Way before we were born and all the way through all the many years that God has kept us. God has been faithful. So because God has been been faithful we can say peace be still in every midst of the storm every storms of life we're going through because if you think you're just going to shake the pastor's hand and say Jesus is Lord you're going to skip through the tulips baby you're going to go through but the Bible says in the book of James count it all joy when you go through diverse temptation for it's nothing but a worky 
speaking of your faith. What counted all joy when I'm going through? Yes, because isn't it amazing when you go through, you find yourself on your face calling on the name of Jesus. You find yourself self doing neology. I drop to my knees and ask God to strengthen me. And when God brings you up and out of it, hallelujah, your faith rises. Wow, God. God, you really heard me. God, you really brought me out of this. So whatever storms of life you're going through, hallelujah, we can fall to our knees and let God take control. Saints of the Most High God, like I said at 11 o'clock, we need to stop, drop, and roll. Stop from the sins that we're in. Drop to our knees and ask God to give us strength. Ask God to forgive us for all of our sins and roll our life over to Christ Jesus. So we need to stop, drop, and roll. Saints of the Most High God, and we can say peace be still in every situation. We can say peace be still. Hallelujah in every every storms of life hallelujah and because of that i trust god because you are my lord you are my salvation you are my high tower you are my refuge you are the rock of my salvation hallelujah god is better than good i i hear that cliche god is good all the time god is good yes he is but who is he to you hallelujah who is God to you? Hallelujah. And only you can answer that. God is my Lord. God is my Abba Father. He's my Adonai. He is the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He is the morning star. Glory to God. He is everything that I have need of. God is, God said, I am that I am. Whatever you have need of, God is that. Glory to God. If he needs, if you need for him to be your mother and father. God is that. He is our heavenly father. We serve a God who doesn't slumber nor sleep. So that means we could come to the Lord 24 and 7. He'll never get tired or never get weary. Glory to God and that's good news. Hallelujah. God says ask anything in my name. I will do it. Glory to God and because of that we're standing on God's word and because of that we can rest assured. We could truly say peace be still glory to god let's pray out most gracious father we come before you right now lord in the matchless name of jesus father god we thank you for this powerful word we thank you lord jesus that you love us we thank you lord jesus that you came and gave the word peace be still in every storms of life hallelujah god you've seen us through everything god you're faithful and lord you said you'll never leave us nor forsake us so whatever storms of life that we're in god is with us and lord we thank you for it and father god we worship you we give you the glory and praise father god we thank you for those who rededicated their life to the lord father god we thank you for those that gave their life to the lord we thank you for everyone that tuned into the Hewitt channel may them be forever changed by the matchless powerful powerful alive word of god and father god until we meet again may god bless you and keep you tune back in at six o'clock p.m where my husband pastor brian will be preaching with the fire of the Holy Ghost. So get ready to be blessed. So until we meet again, may God keep you and bless you all day and all evening long. In Jesus' name, amen.